you. It is a love story that stands the test of time and life's uncertainties. Author and CBS New York anchor Mary Calvi has spent years transcribing the love letters sent back and forth in between Theodore Roosevelt and his first love, Alice Lee. Mary joins us live to tell us more about it all. Mary, first of all, good morning and thank you for being with us. I have a copy of the book right here. I can't wait to dive into it a little bit later, but what was it like finding these love letters from this gilded age that had not ever been published before? Amy, I was overwhelmed. I mean, I was nearly in tears at some point. They were so intimate and passionate. I felt like I was intruding, honestly. <laughs> but being there, just one with these original love letters from the 1800s, they were readable. They were in this pristine condition. And I was really stunned that most of these have never been published or transcribed. So I took that upon myself to do it and i was so thrilled to to be able to share this woman's story and give her a voice that i believe she deserves and has not been given all these years well that's you know you think about love letters and i think about this this time you know where it's like that's all people had now we do text messaging and we've got all the electronics and different things it, it, there is something just so special about a letter what was teddy and alice's relationship like well, I'll tell you, these letters were quite uh, something. I mean, there are points where she's calling him Teddykins and mm. he's calling my dearest love. And he even says, um, I, it seems almost desecration to touch you. I worship you so. I mean, it just goes on and on with these passionate sayings. Their relationship was something else. I mean, I thought it was like a romance for the ages. I mean, he was so deeply in love. It was as if passion weaved through every fiber of his being. And it was for him was love at first sight, his first love. He writes about this very deeply and very, very often, truthfully. And that's why I had this hunch that these love letters might exist because she was mentioned so many times mm. in his own diary entries. Well, and there was there's heartbreak to this. It isn't just all love and and fun and fantasy. I mean, there's some real loss here and, and some things you can learn about grief as well. Exactly. So much of it is overcoming loss when you have such deep love for someone. And it was a journey, certainly, for Theodore Roosevelt um, to overcome what he had gone through. Don't want to give everything yes, away, I know. but boy, boy, was it something. And to be able to experience it, um, like, sort of like, I felt like I was intruding at some points, Jamie, because I was, like, really close. I mean, I was really in their world for a good amount of time. Well, they've been gone for a while, so I think it's okay. <laughs> Mary, this is being released on Valentine's Day. I can't wait for people to pick it up. You're such a wonderful person, too. We spent a lot of time together when I was in New York, and um, I, I can't wait to read it and have more conversations with you about this offline. So thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you so much. You can find more information about Mary and her new book by going to kcalnews.com.